Hello! In this video, we are going to go through the Fibonacci tools for Thinkorswim. Specifically, we're going to be discussing the Fibonacci price retracements and Fibonacci price extension tools. In the Thinkorswim platform itself, your drawing tool is going to be selectable from a little icon right at the bottom right of your chart. So depending on how you have it set, it may look like a mouse cursor as mine does right now. I can't remember if that's the default or if the pan tool is, but if you see a little hand, a mouse cursor, whatever it is, but regardless of what it looks like, that is the area where you will find your Fibonacci retracements and Fibonacci extensions tools. So first let's focus on the price retracements. This is going to be the two pointed tool where you can click to select the top and then click to select the bottom of a bar. Now once you have this drawn you can actually right click and edit these properties. This is where you'll want to choose whatever lines you want to see. If all you want to see are the 1272 and 1618 you can really deselect everything except what you want to see and if you don't have 1.272, you can always type that in as well. Don't even recall what the factory default is because I've set my defaults like this. But once you have it set the way you would like, then a couple of things I like to do. I like to turn the right extension on and then also click Save as Default when you're finished. So when you do that, when you draw between the two points, you will then get a 1272 extension and 1618 extension with the price retracements tool. Another quick tip for Thinkorswim is if you right click your chart and then go into style and then settings, there's going to be an option right inside of that general tab where you can choose snap drawings. So for the Fibonacci tools, it's very convenient to snap the drawings to open high lower close of the bar OHLC. So if we do this and then draw with this tool again you'll see how it makes it easier. If I just get close to the top of this bar and click it exactly grabs the top of that bar. If I just get close to the bottom of this bar it's gonna snap that drawing right exactly on it. So it'll save you some time of aligning everything completely perfectly. And the next tool we want to look at is going to be the three-pointed Fibonacci tool. So I can right-click here and remove the drawing. Oh, and actually, let me show you another really cool thing since we're removing lines anyways. If you want to remove a single line on Thinkorswim, if you hold down the control key on your keyboard and then click that, just a regular left-click on a line that you'd like to remove, it'll remove that line for you. It's actually a feature that Carolyn got Thinkorswim to add. It's very awesome. All right, so we'll just remove that drawing. And now let's go ahead and look at the three-pointed tool, also known as the Fibonacci extensions. So with this tool, how we'll find symmetry, among other things, you use the same general concept. Click on the first two points, say a high to low swing. But then you can take this and drag it up to the most recent high swing and then you'll get your 100% level. Now same thing as before, if you have not set this up, I mean I have my default set to just show the 100% level. If you right click any of those levels and go to edit properties, you'll get to this same window. So once again I like to have the extensions on, I chose my color as red, choose whatever you like. I made that only one percent visible or 100 percent turned everything else off and then clicked save as default so every time you draw it will just draw this alrighty well that should cover the foundation of the Fibonacci price retracement and extension tools in thinkorswim sincerely hope that helps if you do have any questions that I can help you out with just log into Simpler Trading and go to Foundation in your dashboard. Enter the Simpler Tech segment and just ask away. I would love to help you out. Talk to you soon.